Hey guys, this is a very simple guide on how to use um, open broadcaster software. And my tutorials are quick and easy, I get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to scenes and right click, hit add scene, because assuming this is your first time, it's going to be blank for you. So you just uh, name it whatever you like, that doesn't really matter, hit OK, and then you'll see scene right here, or whatever you named it. Now, to the right of that, you're going to right-click this empty space, and if you're trying to record a game like, let's say, Minecraft or League of Legends, you're going to want to do Add Software Capture. And, you know, the title is going to be there. And then you're going to get this menu. So, for Monitor Capture, that captures your entire screen, so if you want to full screen the game, you can do that. And then there's Window Capture, and you can capture whatever window you have open and right now I only have Bandicam and Audacity because that's what I'm using for to record my sound in my video for this video so you have those options but what I'm going to cover more extensively is video capture device because assuming you have a capture card you can record from your console or yeah from your Wii 360 or PS3 which is what I'm mainly going to cover today so once you right click and and go to video capture device you'll you'll see this screen and for me i have it on amarac video capture which is a software that displays whatever your capture card is recording i can however choose to display the actual capture card but it's not a very good capture card so i'm i'm making it go through amarac to kind of like make the video quality better and change certain settings so for your resolution, um, well, I stream my Nintendo Wii at around uh, 640 by 480 resolution. But for a 360 and PS3, you're probably going to want to use um, 1280 by 720, which is 720p, because those games run, you know, run at better resolutions anyway. The Wii doesn't really need to be that intensive, so it's not that big a deal. Now, I was running at 50 frames per second, but since I bumped up my resolution, I'm putting it at 30. And essentially, it's just fine running at 30 frames per second. But if you have a really good computer, a fast processor, and all that good stuff, you can probably put it to 50 or 60. However, it's just important that your capture card is running at the same, fr same frames and resolution as open broadcaster software. If not, it won't display anything. So that's it. We can hit OK. Next thing we want to do is go into Settings. And you're going to see this screen. Uh, general is not that important. Encoding is next. So your max bitrate, I think the default is 1000. But what you're going to want to do is check your upload rate. And in order to check that, we're going to use a website called speedtest.net. And your max bitrate and your buffer size are going to want to be the same exact values. So real quick, I'm just going to show you guys a speed test. So I'm at www.speedtest.net, and I'll put the link in the description. So you go to the site, and then you just want to click Begin Test. So at minimum, if your computer doesn't have at least a 1 megabyte per second upload speed, you should not be streaming, because that is the minimum requirement to stream. Otherwise, your computer is not powerful enough to run a stream and a game at the same time, and your internet's not good enough either. So, mine is 5.11, and I have mine set to 1500. So, once you get your upload speed, you're going to want to set your bitrate to a, a bit less than it, because you want to give room for your computer to compensate for running other things. But if you want to be safe, you can just set it to 1000 for now and see how it runs. Um, so, yeah, if you don't really know what to do, um, just set it to 1000, both the buffer size and the max bitrate, and just set quality balance to 8. Now, next you go into Broadcast Settings, and for mode, you want to set this to Live Stream, Streaming Service. Um, I'm assuming you're using Twitch.tv because that's the site you use for uh, for gaming mostly. So if you haven't already, you should, ha you should make a Twitch.tv account, and to do that, you just go to www.twitch.tv, and you create a, a login, and there's your account. So now... For FMS URL, you're going to want to pick whatever is closest to you. So for me, it's U.S. East New York, New York, because I'm from New York City. And 
although I'm now outside of the city, that's still the closest location to me. So that's what you want to pick. Um, now, file, play path, and stream key, if any. This part's important because this is what's going to allow open broadcaster software to connect to your stream. And I'm going to show you right now how to find your stream key. You just go to twitch.tv slash broadcast and it'll play it'll show you this window here um, broadcast while you play and to the right of the window it's gonna there's gonna be an option to show your stream key so you just hit show key and you just want to copy this whole segment I know it's, it's a lot but you make sure you get all of it all right because sometimes there's a little bit more hidden behind the button so you just copy and then if it doesn't work, if it says something's wrong with your stream key when you try and stream it, just reset the key and then copy it again. And then you want to paste it right into here. So now everything else is fine. Auto reconnect, you want that checked for sure. Uh, go to video, make sure your, your resolution, your base resolution is the same resolution that you had, that your capture card's displaying at and what you set for video capture earlier in, this, in the earlier part of, the, of this video. Resolution downscale is what, like if, you're, um, if your viewers don't have a strong enough computer to view your resolution, it'll play like kind of a lesser version of your stream for them to compensate for their computer's lack of ability. But you can just leave it at none if you want. Um, you can worry about this later. Like I said, I'm just teaching you how to stream. It's not that crazy. Um, yeah, and then for audio, if you want to use a microphone, you just choose which microphone you want. You can do a push to talk, or you can just have it on all the time. And then that's it. You're done. You just hit OK. You preview your stream. And this is to mute your mic or to leave it you know, on or off. You can adjust volume level. This is the game volume. And then this is your microphone volume. But I'm going to have mine muted right now because I'm already using my microphone. And then you just want to hit preview stream. Which right now mine isn't showing anything because I don't have Amarac video open. Which is what I would be streaming from. But real quick let me just show you guys. So if you have something that looks like this. You might want it a little bit bigger. So what you're going to have to do is go to edit scene. And you're going to see these boxes on the side on the corners. And you can just drag them down to uh, drag them off screen. You just hold them and pull it. And then you can actually just manually manipulate the window with the mouse. Just click it and drag it to where you want until it fills up the window entirely. I know right now you can't really tell because the screen is black, but you know you can make it bigger to your liking until it fits the window fully. So then your stream will be full and people will have a better view. And that's that's pretty much it. So then you stop the preview if everything looks good. You then just hit start streaming. And if there are no errors, you go to your twitch.tv dashboard and you should see it streaming. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment, send me a message. Um, if you enjoyed this, hit a like, hit maybe a subscribe. Um, if this helped you out, hopefully it does. Hopefully it was simple enough to get you started and hopefully it didn't waste too much of your time. So thanks guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you want anything else or have any other requests for videos, just leave a comment and I'll do it because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you later. Thanks.